Amir Isaiah Ellis. My son was abducted on May the 16th, 2023. He is still missing. He has been missing 69 days today. And we live in the state of Arkansas. And he is, he was, he graduated from here. Um, he, we spent our whole lives here. This is not our first search, um, but this is our definitely our largest search so far. Uh, we have uh, supposedly three officers here. Uh, I'm not sure if they're Garland County Sheriff's or uh, Hot Springs. I know the detective, he's here. We're supposed to have uh, some dogs, uh, a couple of four-wheelers, a horse. I haven't seen any of those yet. But there's probably a hundred of us out here so far. Um, I see a Garland County Sheriff's Office uh, unit just drove by. They didn't stop. So we'll see what's going on with that. But I just wanted to personally thank everyone for coming out today. It means a lot. Um, we have... Uh, looks like plenty of water and we'll have some food here in a little while uh, for everyone to keep hydrated and keep their bellies full. So we'll get back to you shortly and see what we get. Thank you. This is another uh, what looks like to be a camp or used to be a camp. You have bowls, uh, drinking containers, some sort of clothes or something there. Maybe that's a coat, maybe. Um, some bowls, there's a pan. Nothing significant here also. <clears throat> so I'm going to keep moving. Kind of odd. I'm doing sweeps back and forth, back and forth about, as you can see, it's fairly clear through some spots, so I don't have to, like, go so far in some areas, but, because I can see far enough, but we still have to pay close attention to these areas, <clears throat> because, you know, we, you might not see anything with your eye, but you never know what's really in there. So I did go through all of that already, but now I'm about to get to a thicker patch. Uh, it's going to take some a uh, little bit of finesse to not get scraped up by the thorns. So I will be back again if I find anything. His mother's search for her 20-year-old son who was kidnapped in May continued today with the largest volunteer search effort yet. The reason for this search? A tip came in from an undisclosed individual about the location of the young man's remains. Channel 7's Andrew Mobley joined that search. He joins us now with the story. Andrew. It's been over three months since 20-year-old Amir Ellis was kidnapped. Since then, his mother, Jessica Ellis, has been desperately searching for him. Over 100 volunteers turned up for today's search, which involved several Hot Springs police officers and a small canine team from the Quapaw Nation in Oklahoma. Volunteers combed the search area in the thick mountain forest north of Jesseville and Garland County, just off Highway 7 near Gladstone Forest Road. Among the primary obstacles to the search were Saturday's high temperatures, heat index values approaching 115 degrees. We're going to push forward as long as we can. I mean, it's just a matter with the heat. The heat was too much for search dogs which were used limitedly to check potential remains. Nellie, Mrs. Ellis, we wanted to come down here and do what we could, given the, the temperature and things of that nature. Um, but again, this is a preliminary. If, if we get nothing today, then I can almost assure you that we will get with law enforcement and, and we will come up with a better game plan to come down here. Despite these challenges, searchers soon found bones scattered down a hillside that appeared to be those of a large animal or human. Maybe deer, 
maybe, but I mean, there's a hit, there's a shoulder bone and like a couple, like a bone that's right up here. And then there's smaller ones they said down further. Um, bones were found. Um, I, it's not definitive yet whether human or animal, but that's what they're getting ready to determine. I think this is it. Um, if it's not my baby, I'm thinking it might be somebody's baby. Three suspects were arrested and charged with Amir's kidnapping in May, but about three more are believed to still be on the loose, according to Jessica and others close to the case, who cannot divulge much because of a gag order. Jessica had this to say to those who took her son from her. Y'all were friends. I don't know. I just escalated to what it did. And I want the best for everybody involved. I don't have no hate or no ill will towards these children. You know, do the right thing. Get right with God. Ask for forgiveness. Because you can be forgiven, this don't have to be the end of the world. So I just ask that one of y'all just speak up and just tell us where Amir is. Those with the search effort are asking for more volunteers. If the bones found today are not determined to be Amir's, the plan is to conduct another search next Saturday. On your side, I'm Andrew Mobley. And if you have any information regarding the location of Amir Ellis's remains, you're urged to contact the Hot Springs Police Department. Well, it's a story we've been following for months. The kidnapping of 20-year-old Amir Ellis of Hot Springs. Three people have been arrested in connection to his disappearance, but there is a gag order on the case which prevents information from being released. Tonight, TV 11's Julia Sagarza spoke with Amir's mother on where the case stands and her continued efforts to bring her son home. Today marks 143 days. For five months, Jessica Ellis has worked day and night to find out what happened to her son, Amir. I'm slipping some days, you know, I'm, you know, I still get angry and I have really sad days. And I have really hard days still. After two court hearings in August, Ellis learned that her son won't be coming back to her alive, but she's still determined to find him. I just really know, hope my baby knows how much I loved him. I just love them so much. It's so. Over the last few months, she's hosted more than 10 searches and says she plans to do more. And I will always continue to do my part and keep his name in this case and everything as relevant as I can until we bring him home. Thursday, Ellis met with the prosecuting attorney. And while things aren't happening as quickly as she would like, she says communication is more clear than it has been. Would that just be about the investigation, whether that just be about what the upcoming court date is going to be about, because those are the little things, like they're little things, but they're the little things that give me comfort. As each day goes by, it doesn't get easier, but she's holding on to the memories of her son as strength to keep pushing forward. Yeah, I've talked about Amir all the time because it's one of the things also that he helps me. It's his smile. He has this smile, you know, that is so amazing. And I was just talking about the smile this morning. While Amir isn't here, there's a piece of him, his son. You see his smile every his, day. I mean, every day. He is just, he looks more and more like Amir, like, every day. No matter what, this mother says she is determined to not give up. I have to. I got to make sure he gets justice, and I have to make sure I bring him home so that I can have some peace. In Hot Springs, Jalissa Garza, THV 11 News. Ellis tells us that she is headed back to the courtroom later this month for the next step in Amir's case.